Welcome. Let's talk about what a mini BAL or bronchoalveolar lavage means. So BAL or bronchoalveolar lavage basically involves getting fluid samples from your smaller bronchuses or bronchi and from the alveoli as well. So initially in most um, bronchoalveolar lavages a bronchoscope is then used to go down all the way down to the secondary and tertiary wherever you can um, wedge the bronchus basically where the, bron uh, where the bronchoscope gets too large to go any further fluid is then instilled and pushed down and suctioned back up again so that's the original bronchoalveolar lavage but recently what we found is with many studies that the um, utility of the bronchoalveolar lavage is as good as the mini bell and this is what we're going to discuss today so a mini bell is conducted in patients who are intubated and what happens is the patient is initially first you have the bronchus is the uh, trachea and you have the right and uh, left main stem bronch uh, bronchus and then you have the secondary and tertiary uh, bronchioles followed by the terminal bronchial and the alveoli at the end of it right so you have all of that the patient has an ET tube in in place following that an initial catheter on out outer catheter is initially inserted it has got a little kink to it which allows the respiratory technician or whoever's conducting it to drive it either right or left and uh, so most of the time it's reasonably accurate to drive it obviously you most likely get it on the right side just because of the anatomy of the uh, right main stem bronchus in relation or the location of the right main stem bronchus in relation to the trachea so initial outer uh, cannula is inserted to that point and there'll be a maximum point where the, it can't go past any further and then the inner cannula is then used and the inner cannula is used in a way that it's inserted through that area where right till the end is gently pushed until it cannot go any further so it's wedged as well and then following that they'll instill usually about 20 cc's about five to six uh, pushes of uh, a syringe with 20 cc's of saline and suctioned out as well so fluid will go from here generally all the way out there wash out all that crap inside there and then suction that back up again and this should be sent uh, generally for um, a quantitative gram stain because you don't want to uh, go through all that hassle only to get a colonizer so you want to get a, a significant amount of samples usually for a, a true bronco LV lavage uh, it should be at least more than 10 to the power of 4 to be considered significant pathogen as opposed to colonizer uh, but for a mini bell standards vary at times but again I think you definitely want to do a quantitative gram stain on that pre-oxygenate the patient with hundred percent oxygen and then conduct the procedures and take more than five to ten minutes so to recap a, a mini bronchoalveolar lavage is a miniature version of it you obviously it's a blind procedure so you can't tell where exactly you're going compared to a bronchoscope where you can actually visualize which uh, lobe you're going in so if you're just doing that to, uh, to diagnose someone with a pneumonia on the right or left side it's a decent tool to use it's it's uh, pretty equivalent in, in its accuracy uh, however if you don't get your results that you expected a uh, bronchoalveolar lavage through an actual bronchoscope may be warranted uh, but new, most of the time the patients come in uh, to the EC or the emergency department uh, and uh, or the ICU initially with an intubated for pneumonia a mini BAL is, is a quick way to get a, a sample and it's better than just a sputum sample as a sputum sample only gets crap that's located over here and again it may be a colonizer it may be stuff that's aspirated during the patient's intubation as well so you really don't think that's not going to be useful in terms of in terms of deciding on which antibiotics or de-escalating antibiotics based on cultures. So a mini bell works really well in those situations. Um, like I said, the inner cannula is then thread all the way through until the until it wedges gently and then you um, use a saline and uh, get the sample and send it off. All right, thank you.